Hello, my name is Donny Papa Nicolau, or Papa for short, and welcome to my gallery space. The nude figure is one of the most alluring, erotic, or stimulating subjects that can sway perceptions and encourage conversation and debate. I typically explore the nude body because of its vulnerability and effect on societal standards. Using the nude form as my vehicle for expression, I enlist my interest as a grand narrative artist to explore existentialism through Greek mythology and allegorical subjects via an urban lens. These contemporary retellings highlight the human condition and parallel human behavior as allegories that express love and life. This mixed media work is titled King Midas and Urban Rebirth. It is made of oil paint, aerosol, galka gel, canvas, acrylic paint marker, gold leaf, liquid cold on birch panel. It is eight feet tall and four feet wide and it was made in 2021. For my first grand narrative painting, I created an homage to the myth of King Midas. I reimagined the resolution in which the river where my Midas figure bathes is of graffiti marks and textured surfaces instead of water, creating an urban rebirth that coincides with my aesthetic. The context is rich and reflects a moment in my life where I myself am experiencing a renaissance of passion, creation, and saturation. This rebirth is both conceptual and representational as seen with the array of gestural and visceral marks applied to the surface and in the many layers. In this image, Midas's golden husk is breaking off of his body, revealing a new man underneath free of his greedy shell. I also pay homage to the ancient Greek mosaics with my application of the gold leaf breaking adrift from his body in shapes indicative of mosaic tiles. These two works are a part of a series of four panels. The blue one is titled The Pygmalion Effect, Gaze of Desire, while the red one is titled The Pygmalion Effect, Self-Fulfilling Prophecy. It is made of graphite, latex paint, acrylic paint marker, acrylic paint, liquid gold on wood, and red oak panels. It is 48 inches tall and 32 inches wide, both of them, and they are made in 2022. The Pygmalion and Galatea narrative is visualized in four panels that read from left to right, with each representing a different stage of the myth. In this installation space, I've only included the third and fourth panel. In the third panel, it depicts the couple's inevitable union with their touching insinuating Galatea's breath of life, while the fourth mixed media artwork depicts the climactic resolution, animation, and embrace. Upon research and study, the psychological concept titled The Pygmalion Effect, a phenomenon about high expectations leading to enhanced or better performance, echoes throughout this series and its conceptual virtue. This polyptych of four panels is collectively made out of graphite, latex paint, acrylic paint marker, acrylic paint, gold leaf, liquid gold, liquid silver, black 3.0 paint, rose gold metallic marker on birch panels. It is eight feet tall and four feet wide and it was made in 2022. The entire series is called The Four Seasons, but individually they are titled Spring, summer, fall, and winter. The Four Seasons series explores the human body and personifying the four seasons into beings that express my ephemeral thoughts and feelings about each annual interval. Each season depicts a model in a figure pose or position that is indicative of the season they embody. Spring is a jubilation of life in blues and greens. Summer epitomizes radiating energy through its symmetrical composition, drenched in golden rays. Fall is an urban harvest of street appeal, enigmatic identity, and aesthetics. Winter is slumped in a comforting, evocative slouch, transcending through space in its stillness. All four works tether together, creating a vertical rectangular orientation that suggests growth, stature, and majesty. So this polyptych of 10 individual panels is titled Orpheus and the Nine Muses. Collectively, the entire installed piece is about seven and a quarter inches wide and six and a quarter inches in height. It was made in 2022 and is made out of collectively graphite, latex paint, India ink, acrylic paint marker, acrylic paint, liquid gold, and on birch panels. Individually, they all have their own separate titles, which you can see off on the right hand side within the box. The Nine Muses are the embodiment of inspiration and the arts in Greek mythology, each one a master of their respective discipline. These Nine Muses are organized into the subjects of three muses each, literature, science, and the arts. These panels orbit the central focal point, a self-portrait masqueraded as Orpheus, the son of Calliope, who became a patron for the arts, an inspiration for the muses to teach and continue their creativeness and guidance, an arbiter of for the arts. This piece is titled Pandora's Pithos Unbox. It is actually a companion piece to my first work in this entire Greek myth series, King Midas and Urban Rebirth. This work is actually made out of acrylic paint, acrylic paint marker, canvas, liquid chrome pen, mirrors on birch panel. It was made in 2022. Pandora's Box is a popular myth that highlights humanity's curiosity and morality. In my contemporary retelling of the Greek myth, I have visualized Pandora as the pithos with cracks of chrome luminance breaking through her vessel. 
Beams of color and light escape the fissures while mirrors reflect the souls that she had inadvertently created post-mortem. Viewers gaze upon the reflection, noting their existence and present moment. Life is celebrated here, with notes of beauty, aestheticism, and sacrifice highlighting the creation of a new world. This is the latest work in my Greek myth series titled Eros and Psyche, The Allurement of Self-Doubt. Collectively, it is made out of acrylic paint, India inks, fluid paint, graphite, white charcoal, rose gold leaf, steel, aerosol on wood panels. It is 8 feet tall and 5 feet in width, and it was made in 2023. To avoid the cliche of being unlucky in love, I find myself reflecting about the morals of the myth of Eros, representing desire, and Psyche, representing the soul or spirit. This work serves as an allegory about self-doubt, Psyche, killing our desires, Eros. In this allegorical diptych, I have visualized the climactic moment in the myth in which Psyche, awestruck by the revelation that her spouse is Eros, is about to maim her husband awake while wielding a dagger, only I have reimagined it as a blade of psychic energy, essentially Psyche's doubt embodied. After research and study, these momentary impressions were recorded in my sketchbook for further analysis and reflection. I orchestrated my own photo shoots of my subjects to better understand my relationships between their body and the colorful shadows that are cast from the light schemes that I design. The interrelationship between the tinted shadows and the human body allows for my artistry to imaginatively create a composition through abstracting and inverting shapes to create a divine, virtuous, and urban aesthetic.